Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this new series called Ready, Set, Stamp. I am so excited to be joining uh, with two of my scrappy besties, Heather from Heather's Crafty Life and Amanda Kirby. And we're going to be bringing this stamping series to you, which we will have a video out the second Friday of every month. So let's get started with this uh, first layout. I'm going to use some Distress Oxides and I'm using a couple of different pinks. Um, I apologize, I do not have the inks in front of me at the moment, um, but if you would like to know which ones they are, I am happy to um, answer that in the comments, so just leave a comment below. So I'm going to use this old Heidi Swap stencil. Um, it's a 12 by 12 stencil, but I wanted to make two um like sunbursts for my kind of to anchor my photos on this page and i'm scrapbooking a lay layout um, about basically the start of winter and my journaling is going to be about how i absolutely love to wear winter hats I wish I could wear them all year long. I love them so much. I love not having to do my hair and all of that. So that's what this layout is going to be about. And here I am. I'm just finishing up the um, Distress Oxides uh, using one of those like makeup brush applicators. And um, I basically want them to barely touch in the center of the page the two sunbursts. I'm going to work on the one sunburst now and I don't think I make you watch me inking up the next sunburst but as you can see I'm wanting it to be darker towards the center and then fade out to be a little bit lighter towards the edges and um, that just I just like the look of that it's very soft and yeah, so um, yeah, here I'm going to start the other, but I am not going to make you watch all of this. And um, let's see here. Okay, now you see I've got both of those starbursts ready there. And I'm going to come in with a few other inks. I've got, um, I think this one might be Faded Jeans with stress, Distress Oxides. And then I'm going to come in with Juniper Mist, which is a navy blue. And then I'm going to come back in with the pinks, which are Tattered Rose and, um, what's the other one? Spun Sugar. And I'm going to be using several different small um, snowflake stamps from several different uh, stamp sets in my stash. So I'm just kind of scattering those snowflakes all along the pink sunburst, um, you know, on either side. So I... I'm sorry. Um, my dog hears my husband come in and that's what happens. Um, so I don't mind like going off of the pink. I think that looks really good and kind of scattering them, but I'm trying to leave the white areas in between um, as open as possible. Now I'm going to do like one round of stamping um, and then I'm going to, I decide I want to add some white snowflakes and I don't have really good with white pigment ink, white ink at all. I just feel like it really ends up soaking into your paper. So my suggestion if you want white stamping would be to go ahead and heat emboss with some white embossing powder. So as soon as I get some blue color down here and some pink color, I'm going to get out my embossing powder in white and I am going to uh, stamp, stamp with some Versamark and then get that um, heat embossed. So this is just kind of a very simple way to add stamping um, to your layouts. Now, you, didn't, you wouldn't even have to use that starburst. You could just do stamping, like repetitive stamping with the same shape like I'm doing with different colors um, 
and kind of just make it surround your photo. And I just think that really catches your eye and draws your eye to that photo. Another example of using this, like in this one I'm using snowflakes, but you could do hearts. So you could do a bunch of little hearts around your photos, or you could do stars and a bunch of different stars around your photos and, and kind of um, go with that. Now my suggestion with stamping is to pick out your papers first. So know what papers you're wanting to bring into your layout and then pick your stamp colors based on your papers. Because if you just start with stamp colors, it's often very, very hard to match up a collection with just stamp, you know, ink pads or ink pads that you've pulled from your stash. So I always try to start with a collection or start with some papers and then pull my ink colors based on those papers. It makes it much easier to match. It makes it look more cohesive and you're you're not going to have wasted layouts basically or wasted stamping because I've done that before where I have just put together a color combo maybe that I saw on Pinterest or whatever and I do this really cool background or whatever I'm doing with the stamps and then I can't find paper that will coordinate with it. So I've essentially done all the stamping and it's really not going to get me anywhere. So that is my one big tip with stamping. Uh, here I am heat embossing those white snowflakes and you're not going to see them very well in this video but you will be able to see them in the close-up videos at the end. So there you see now that I've kind of got some of the stamping done I can go back in and I can kind of fill in um, with stamping to fill in some of those spots. Now, I like for my stamps to overlap, so you'll see in the close-ups that I do a lot of overlapping with my stamps, and to me, it just looks more natural. It looks um, not so controlled, which is what I'm looking for. Another tip with stamping is to stamp with your largest stamp first. So um, what I did is I started with my largest snowflake and then I went to the next size, the next size, and then the smallest because then you can kind of fit that smallest snowflake in between and fill those spaces as you need to. So now um, I've decided on my title and my title is going to be Winter Is Here. And winter is from, I think it's from the Crate Paper Snowflake Collection. And I had just a, what is, what are they? The STC or SCT sampler um, that I get every month. And it's just a sampling of uh, six by six papers. You can see it there to my left that I'm grabbing from. It's just a sampling of six by six papers and then a few of embellishments from a couple of new collections. It kind of gives you just an opportunity to try out something new without investing a large amount of money uh, for a whole collection. And I think it's $10 a month, if I'm not mistaken. So I based my colors on that paper, that kind of stack of paper to my left, and I had very few embellishments to go with those. Um, so what I did is I just went into my stash and I pulled anything that I thought would um, match. And I did find a super, super old collection. And I apologize because I do not even know the name of it. Um, but it had this pink sweater um, and it had couple of other things like a hat sticker um, and so I pulled those in and they worked out perfectly. I am so sorry again with my dogs. Um, and then so you'll see me I'm just kind of working on each embellishment cluster just trying to kind of put a little weight around each photo and 
um, I did back the photo with several different pattern papers and I went ahead and tore a couple of the papers at the bottom. And I just like doing that for um, layouts that especially aren't, um, what do I want to say, aren't like linear or graphic looking. This is more like free flowing, so I just liked that torn edge with this type of layout. Certainly, you could have done your photos in circles, which I think would have been really cool. Um, but to soften up those squares is why I wanted to tear the edges. Um, so now, another thing I could have done here is I could have stamped the title, which I think would have been perfect to do something like that as well. But I did have these stickers that came in that small kit and wanted to use them up. So... Um, that's the route that I went. But this would have been a very great um, layout to stamp your title on because it's a very flat layout. Um, and I am going to have some other uh, dimensional pieces around the photos, but in the center there, um, it easily could have been a stamped layout as well. So you see I've kind of got uh, embellishments just scattered everywhere. Um, I had decided that I wanted to make sure that I had, you can see that round like wood grain snowflake there. Um, I had one that was a sticker and one that was a die cut piece and it just came from my stash. So I wanted to make sure I had both like a round, both of those round elements in each cluster. And then I wanted to make sure I had a puffy sticker in each you know around each photo and that's kind of how I like to balance out th this layout um, is to make sure I have kind of the same the same how can I explain weight so I have like cardstock stickers I've got puffy stickers I've got wood veneer and I just want to make sure I've got a little bit of each of that in each um, each embellishment cluster so this camera came from a Maggie Holmes sticker sheet and like I said I just kind of went through and I was looking for embellishments that simply matched either a winter theme or a color palette. Uh, the puffy stickers that I use in here are from the Snowflake collection and they came in that small kit. Uh, so that was really fun to be able to have those. And everything else is from my stash. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of embellish around each photo and I really, really love how this turned out. And if I would take away the stamping, I would not like this at all. Um, I feel like it would have been too plain. It wouldn't have helped tell the story. And using those snowflake stamps, to me, helped tell the story. And that's what I love to do with stamps. One of the things I like to do with stamps. Now, you will find in this series um, that we are gonna be using stamps in many, many different ways. Um, you will see where stamps will be the main focus of the layout, or we'll be using our alphabet stamps, or we'll be using our background stamps. So there's gonna be so many different opportunities um, to see how we're gonna use stamps, and I really hope that you will all be inspired to get those stamps out and start using them on your layouts. If you're like me, um, I have, oh my goodness, so many stamps. And right now I am just not using this enough or using them enough. So that is why I wanted to get this um, series started so that I would start using my stamps and help to encourage you all to use yours as well. So, I am um, going to leave links for Heather's channel and Amanda's channel uh, below in the description box. Definitely make sure you go check them out. 
If you're not already subscribed, I hope you will subscribe to them. And also, if you're not subscribed to me, I would love for you to be one of my subscribers as well. And I hope that you will come along on this journey and you guys will learn some things along the way. And hopefully, um, you will be able to maybe do some layouts with some stamping. Maybe we should come up with a hashtag. I'm going to talk to Heather and Amanda and maybe we can come up with a hashtag that when you post something, if you hashtag that, um, we can be able to see your layouts and see what you did with your stamps. So I'm put on that winter um, sticker and I'm going to go back into my stash and I'm going to find uh, some other like rose gold colored smaller thickers where I will finish off the title. I'm just using my glue, there's my, my thickers. I'm using my art glitter glue to um, glue some of these items down because what you will find if you do any type of mixed media or um, not necessarily stamping, but maybe on the heat embossed stamps, um, your stickers are not gonna stick as well as they would just on plain cardstock. So I always try to go in with my art glitter glue and give it a little bit of reinforcement. So I decided I wanted to back this layout and all I'm gonna do is take my scissors and just kind of cut some wonky, um, wonky lines around the outside um, so that I can sh show a little bit of that wood grain that you see uh, laying there. And I absolutely love it. And by doing that, it kind of ties in with the wood grain that's on the layout. And it just really makes it feel warm and cozy. And that's exactly how I feel when I get to wear my hats all, all winter, um, is just warm and cozy. So... I'm so glad you all stopped by. I would love for you to hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification button for, you know, you'll get notified when we have more layouts up. And I really hope you'll come back. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Um, if you want to see anything in particular regarding stamps, um, maybe using a certain type of stamp or, um, anything like that, please leave your comments below. I would love to be able to um, inspire you for something specific that you want to see. And yeah, I'm so happy that you stopped by my channel and I hope you guys all have a great evening. Thanks guys. Bye.